Encapsula Nanosciences presents Antibody Structure and Production of Antibody Fragments. Antibodies are large Y-shaped proteins produced by plasma cells. Immunoglobulin G is the most common type of antibody found in blood. The innate immune system utilizes these proteins to identify and neutralize foreign objects, such as bacteria and viruses. Antibodies exist as a copy of a Y-shaped unit consisting of four polypeptide chains. Each antibody is composed of two identical heavy chain and two identical light chains distinguishable by their variation in molecular weight. Also crucial to the antibody structure is the constant and variable regions. Each antibody contains two light chains that are always identical and help to classify the antibody as either a kappa or a lambda type. A light chain has two successive domains, one constant domain and one variable domain. The constant region is identical in antibodies of the same isotope but differs in antibodies of different isotopes. The tips of each Y arm are known as the variable regions and are antigen binding sites. Each antibody has to have a specific shape in its variable region in order to bind and identify its antigen. Each antibody also contains two carbohydrates within the CH2 domain that acts to stabilize the structure within the immunoglobulin G molecule. The N-terminus refers to the start of a protein or polypeptide terminated by an amino acid with a free amine group. The heavy and light polypeptide chains of the antibody are held together by disulfide bonds. The C-terminus is the end of an amino acid chain terminated by a free carboxyl group. The two identical heavy chains each carry covalently attached oligosaccharide groups. The light chain is separated into two domains, the VL and the CL. The heavy chain of immunoglobulin G has several domains, one VH and four CH regions. The heavy V unit shows similarity to the V domain of the light chain, while the C units show homogeneity to each other and to the C unit of the light chain. Papain is a thiol endopeptidase. When immunoglobulin G molecules are incubated with papain in the presence of a reducing agent, one or more peptide bonds in the hinge region are split producing three fragments of similar size, two Fab prime and one FC. Pepsin is a non-specific endopeptidase. It is active only at an acidic pH. It is irreversibly denatured either at a neutral or alkaline pH. Digestion by the enzyme pepsin normally produces one Fab prime two fragment and numerous small peptides of the FC portion. The resulting Fab prime two fragment is composed of two disulfide connected Fab prime units. The FC fragment is extensively degraded. The Fab prime fragments are fragmented into two Fab prime by the DTT redox reagent. Fysin is a thiol protease. Fysin hydrolyzes the peptide bonds at the carbonyl group of either phenylalanine or tyrosine. Fysin digests the antibody and generates two Fab prime fragments. Fab prime does not have any available sulfurs, therefore any conjugation reaction should happen through the N-terminus. The FC region is fragmented into small pieces during digestion. The variable domain is also referred to as the FV region and is the most important region for binding to antigens. A single chain variant fragment or SCFV becomes a fusion protein with variable regions of heavy and light chains of immunoglobulins connected with a shorter linker peptide to 10 to 25 amino acids. The linker can either connect the N-terminus of the VH with the C-terminus of the VL or vice versa. Intact immunoglobulin G has a molecular weight of 150,000 Dalton. 
The heavy chain of immunoglobulin G has a molecular weight of 53,000 Dalton. The light chain of the antibody has a molecular weight of 22,000 Dalton. FAB or fragment antigen binding fragments each have a molecular weight of 50,000 Dalton. FAB prime fragments each have a molecular weight of 55,000 Dalton. SCFV fragments have a molecular weight of 27,000 Dalton. FAB prime 2 has a molecular weight of 110,000 Dalton. Further information about liposomes may be found at our website www.encapsula.com Requests for liposome formulations customized to your specifications and pricing information may be sent to info at encapsula.com This animation may be used by researchers, professors, lectures, students, etc. for educational purposes only. No part of this animation may be used for commercial purposes including development or proposed development of a product.